Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Today is about a bit of a catch up on some of the cows or mouths that I'm entered into. I thought I'd share some projects with you. I know it's a bit late in the week. I should have probably done it on Sunday, but life's been busy. <laughs> so, first off the rank is, of course, my mini make along Pink October. October's coming to a close, but it's not too late to make a small project in 75 grams or more of pink yarn and enter into my Pink October Breast Cancer or Cancer Awareness Month. There are participant prizes to be won. All you have to do, use 75 grams of pink and post your picture to either Instagram or face in our Facebook group with the hashtag PinkOctoberAU. And if you're not into social media, please feel free to email them to me. And you can give me permission to use them and post them if you like. Now, I've had a few emailed to me, which is great. And we've got a few participants. I think we're up to about 12. But some people have actually made more than one item. So I've decided for the participant prize draw, if you've made more than one item, your name will go into the draw twice. So if you've made two items twice, three items three times so if you're already entered with one and you want to make another one a little one using 75 grams of pink yarn please feel free just get it in before the close of business 31st of october eastern standard time australia 11 59 pm so that leads me into my next make along cow i was watching ruth loves to knit and she's having a make along um dust them off mal fo and dust them off mal chat look all the links to everything i talk about including hashtags will be in the description below she's running it on instagram the idea being that you dust off an old pattern you've had for a while you make it and you post pictures you have to have had the pattern before the 1st of july 2023 so with that in mind and pink October in mind I remembered I had a pattern book that was given to me by a lovely Yarny friend and subscriber Colleen romantic crochet and on the back was this tea cozy now I just sort of when I got the pattern I thought oh yeah I make a scallop tea cozy no big deal I've done those before well wrong very wrong this is made very differently to my vintage scallop tea cozy and I decided I would dust this off and make this and I would make it in pink for Pink October. So it's one of the feature patterns in here. There's quite a few that I like. It's just sort of like you get snowed under with patterns. There it is. And yeah. And of course, you know I like making tea cozies and it's ideal to make one at the moment because I can sell this at my charity market stall in November. So here it is. Here's my romantic tea cozy in pink for dust them off mal. I'm going to double dip. It's the dust them off mal which I'll enter and I'll feature it in my pink October make alongs. But there you have it. Ta -da! Ta -da! It's got a drawstring top. It's so easy to do and so different to mine because it has an underlay layer. My vintage one doesn't. It's quite gappy underneath, but this turned out really well. It is three colours. It's this cerise dark pink. Underneath is the pale pink and then the hot pink. And the yarn I used was, won't be a moment. Right, the yarn bands. I had to get them. The yarn I used is special um, Stylecraft Special Candy Swirl DK. This one. For some reason, I had two partially used balls in my stock. So I shot my stock and I thought I'll use this and I coloured controlled it to make the tea cozy. Now I do have a few scraps left over, but they'll go into another scrappy project when I get around to using it. I actually do like this yarn and it's 100% premium acrylic 8 ply DK. I think, however, it may have been discontinued. I bought it from Wool Warehouse when it was on special and it's called Strawberry Taffy. I do really like the colour too. So that's the yarn I used for my Dust Em Off Mal and Pink October. And I dusted off 
pattern book that Colleen sent me and made it. There are some really nice patterns in there. And that's the first two, I guess. The next one is I was working on reducing my whips, wasn't I? The lingering whips that just hang around. Well, I have done some work on the bigger ones, but of course, launched another make along and one that I love to join in was Luck of the Draw number eight. It's being hosted by Charm Grammy Crochet and She's Got Yarn on behalf of Nan Next, Next Knots, who's taking a bit of a break. But they launched it and I thought I have to join in because I just like it. And it's a great way for me to make a charity lapgan to give away. So I dug into my stock and shopped my stash. And in here, da -da, sorry about the shaky camera, I knocked the camera, is a heap of cocoon yarn, style craft, anti-pilling eight ply or DK, not style craft, spotlight, sorry, a local yarn. Now I believe this also has been discontinued, which is a shame because it's beautiful and soft and not that hard to work with. I really quite like it. Now I have some multicolors, like I have a few of those, or I might have a scrap ball of that, or I might have, um, of course, some pale orange and darker orange. And normally with luck of the draw, you do up a whip card picking eight colors and a base color. But this year, I'm going, this particular one, I'm going to do a little bit different. So for luck of the draw eight, I have enough black and grey yarn and they will be my base colours and then each week Reeves will stick his hand in the bag and pull out a colour. For the first eight weeks he will be choosing my luck of the draw. So the first week starting with the grey as a base he pulled out peach. The second week using black as the base he pulled out coral. The third week he pulled out this lavender and we're about to enter into the fourth week. If he pulls out the same colour, he's just going to put it back and pick another one. Now, if I run out of a colour and I don't have quite enough to do the number of rows, I also have lots of scraps, like quite decent sized scraps in this yarn. So he'll just pick a scrap one to finish that particular section off. But that is my luck of the draw so far. I am doing the V-stitch um, lap gown, quite a smaller one for summer. Um, this is the Ophelia Talks lap, V stitch lap gan, and I'll probably put an envelope border around it. It's ideal for me to make this time of year. We're about to go into our wet season, which is really hot. I think it was 33 today, and we've currently got 85% humidity. I've actually put the air conditioner on since I got home from work because the house is really quite warm. But there we go. I am doing luck of the draw eight, like I needed another whip, but I do like this. I do enjoy watching the draws and having fun. And I like the fact that Reeves is picking the colors out. And um, so I don't have to decide on the colors because there is quite a mixed bag of colors. So another make along, Amigurumi Wars. I didn't do anything in September, but I've been really at it in October. And this particular, particular item will become part of a bigger project but it is going to be entered into Amigurumi Wars. Now if you're easily offended please look away she's a little cheeky. It is Thick Mushroom Lady. Now the way the thick is spelt I've been told that's what they call used for sexy on the internet. That's the, there and I have made this one. I have made her in orange and yellow. That is for attachment. She is finished. This was a lot harder work than I thought it would be. Not the crochet, but inside is wire. You put in the legs, the arms, the body, even inside the cap of the mushroom. That was the hardest bit. But this is my thick mushroom lady who will make another appearance in a finished project which she will be part of and yes I think she's kind of cute she's got her butt 
But um, when I saw the pattern on Ravelry, I couldn't resist buying it. And it's been sitting there for a while. I think I bought it in September. And it is ideal for this other project that I've got caught up in making. So there you go. Amigurumi Wars for October. Another picture I have to take and send off. So the question of the day is, when is an amigurumi an amigurumi? When is it just embellishment or a motive? So part of this project that I am doing that the Thick Mushroom Lady will be part of, I have crocheted some different leaves because it's going to be like an autumny project. Different leaves. Now, are they embellishments? Are they motives? Or are they classed as amigurumi? That's question one. The other thing is, I've made a few, but I'll just show you one. Garlands of leaves. Now you can make all sorts of garlands, like Christmas garlands, you know, star garlands. But this happens to be leaves because it's like an autumn year fall project. Is this classed as amigurumi or embellishment or, mot uh, or a motive? Let me know because it became a bit of a discussion among some of my local crafting friends. Some say the work involved says it's amigurumi. I sort of think this is borderline and these, oh, not the camera again, sorry. We're going to have a very shaky video today. And these leaves are motives. They're not amigurumi, even though there's a bit of work involved in these. These are a... Um, Tutorial by Bagger Day, which I really like, and I can't remember which one this is, but I, will, I, th I think I'll put it in the description below if I can remember. I think I just look somewhere quickly and then decide that's really easy. Let me know in the comments below whether you think they're amigurumi or are they motives and embellishment and aren't classed as amigurumi. I'm really interested. You can help us decide on how discussion I wouldn't say argument more of a discussion friendly discussion so guys that's it for today I have got other whips on the go and make alongs but I just thought I'd keep it to a reasonable length and let you see my projects I really am impressed with this tea cozy pattern I really like it it's curling up a bit at the moment because of the way I've got it. I think this teapot's just a little bit too big for it. And I really do. I am really happy with the way she turned out. Even though, things said, she's quite prominent in the breast area. But she's meant to be. There you go. Okay. Well, you guys stay safe. Stay well. And make sure you have one crafty day this week. It's good for your mental health. Make sure you turn October pink. Bye for now.